guys welcome back to my channel as you guys can see by the title of this video today's video is going to be a clipping extensions hair review slash my first impressions if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you guys can notify can notify can be notified every time i upload a new video these are the extensions so far it's cute but stay tuned so you guys can see what my initial reaction was and also i'm gonna install them in the video not that i know what i'm doing because i haven't installed hair extensions in like five or six years so there's that but you can stay tuned watch me install the extensions if you guys like videos like this make sure you give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for this little hair review <laughs> She's so different. Can I get you so off to your niggas? The flatter that I'm using is a ion flatter. I got this from Sally's like a few years ago. Honestly, I love this flatter. It's the ones with the titanium plates. As you guys can see, it is well used. I don't really straighten my hair often anymore, honestly, but um this flatter has always been my favorite flatter though. Like I just I've been trying to take care of my hair. It needs to be cut right now, like really, really bad. Um, but I only have one person, honestly, besides myself that I trust to cut my hair. Like when I cut my hair, it's not, it's never even, but I don't care. Cause if you guys been here for a while, you guys know I always wear my hair curly. I keep my hair natural and put my curly hair in a bun. I don't even, honestly, I don't be doing nothing with my hair, but just kind of straightening my hair a little bit more because my wrap fell off twice last night. I just straightened it last night and I did and I did it super fast too. Like I only went over it one time last night when I straightened it. And it was done pretty quickly. But I need to get my ends clipped so bad, you guys. Um my hair is so uneven. I had I had box braids in a few uh months ago and when I took them out I accidentally cut my hair. I accidentally cut out some of my hair, but it, it's not noticeable since I always wear my hair curly. Like, I'm excited about putting in these hair extensions to see how it's gonna look. This is the box that the extensions came in. Resistible Me Hair Extensions. This is what the box looks like when you open it. It has this like doll looking woman. She looks like a doll. <laughs> and then there's like this cute little note on the inside. The box is pretty cute, but there wasn't like any uh business cards or info in there besides this. But I've worn hair extensions like this before, like clipping. This side, they have a sample to make sure that it's the um, the right color to match your hair. I did open it, and I'm pretty sure it matches my hair perfectly. It's the color 1B. This is the Royal Clip-In Hair Extensions, and it's in 1B, 24 inches. This one is the sample piece. Look how dark that is. It looks like, literally looks like the darkness of my hair. But yeah. What's this? Oh, and they sent some extra clips in there. In a little netted bag thingy. So these are, oh, this is full. These extensions, they feel super, super full. Like, wow. And the hair is super, super soft. Look how long they are. Oh my God. I feel like I'm about to feel real bougie with these extensions. Like, I can't wait to see what it looks like whenever it's, um, like they're fully installed. That's crazy. I have not had clippings in so long, you guys. Like, since high school, honestly, like, it's been a minute. And when, in high school, I used to do my hair all the time, like, I used to color my hair. My hair actually used to be red. If I can find the pictures, I will insert it right here so you guys can see what I look like when I used to have red hair. Now I just keep my hair black because like I really focus on just the health of my hair. I know I'm like, I need to trim real bad because it's like, whew, girl, like, uh-uh. Like my hair feels soft and like healthy, but the cut is so uneven, like, whew. Guys, this, these look so full, oh my gosh. Like I said, this is their Royal Extensions. This is the fullest option that they have. I think this is 200, or 260, 260 grams, you guys. 260 grams of inches. Okay, let me stop them, but I'm gonna install them. And then once they're in my head, I think, I don't know, should I straighten them first? What do you guys think? I wish you guys could tell me if I should straighten them and then put them in my hair or... Yeah, I probably should. That straighten is super easy too. And they really do, they feel soft. Clips, let's see what the clips look like. The clips look like this. They're attached like that. They pretty much look like whenever I used to make them. Like, I guess I knew what I was doing in high school when I was making them, because it looks literally looks just like this at the weft. These ones specifically are their four clip wefts. So these ones you can get individually to add like more fullness into your hair. I'm straightening it a little bit just to make sure. Let me see. This flattering can go up to 450. I don't know if I shouldn't put it that hot though. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that hot. Yeah, you can get these pieces individually to add more fullness and length to your hair. And it's definitely full, like, 
really really full like, wow i don't know if you guys notice i don't do much to my hair so like i'm excited <laughs> i know i'm always telling you guys i'm excited but like i'm excited either you know or you don't know but i really do love to get dolled up i love to do my hair and my makeup in a woman it can be so much fun to like get glammed up and dolled up i remember being a little girl and loving to play dress up you know and that's the, that's one of the best parts about being a woman you can play dress up you get to do your makeup you get to do your hair you get to like put on put out a different persona but sometimes like for me I feel like constantly being somebody who always has to put the persona of like a full face and always having your hair done. It seems like it would get exhausting to constantly try to pretend to be somebody, like play this character, you know? I guess that's the best way I could describe it is like if you're trying to put on this character, like I always have to look good when I'm on camera. Like, no, just be yourself. Like, be who you are at your core because at the end of the day, I'm not trying to get far based on my looks or like based on having the the nicest hair the nicest makeup being glammed up I, that's not it's just me trying to share my story and be authentic to who i am you know like that's really why i like creating content but i'm a very humble person so it's nothing wrong with getting dolled up or nothing but sometimes you could find yourself like feeling like you always have to look a certain way but that's not what life is about life is about genuinely being happy with who you are like are you okay with yourself once you take that face and makeup off at night are you okay with yourself when you don't have your extensions are you okay with just being you this is exciting like i'm i'm saying like i i don't know how to describe it y'all probably thinking like this girl is all over the place what the hell is she talking about i came here for a first impressions i came here to see these damn extensions it's not about that because it's fun to get dolled up that's why i was like yeah i feel like that would be cool to to do a review on these because it's it's fun to it's fun to get cute like i said i don't know but if you feel where i'm coming from make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel if you are new turn on your post notifications so you guys know every time i upload a new video if my content resonates with you, then yeah. Comment down below how you guys feel about that. I honestly feel like sometimes the way social media is and everybody always looking, all dolled up, looking their best, having the nicest clothes, having the nicest hair, having the nicest shoes, nicest bag, nails done, the hair done, everything did. Like I get I get how it's fun and, and to be a woman, those things like feel like, you know, I deserve this. And yeah, you do. You deserve the world. You deserve everything and then some, you know. As long as you know you are putting your best foot forward, you working hard, you you, you grinding, you taking care of your kids, you t you doing what you need to do to better yourself, you, you, you deserve it all. But it, that's not what life is about. Life is about genuinely being happy with who you are at your core. Everything else is just an enhancement. It, it's like an accessory. It can be gone tomorrow, but are, are you going to be okay with who, who you are looking at in the mirror? Are you going to be okay with the person you see when you have none of the material things? Are you going to be okay with that? Because I know for sure I'd be okay with that. I don't know. Like I get excited to want to make content, but then again, it's like I, I like talking. That's why this doing hair and makeup used to be so fun for me, like as far as creating content, because I like to talk. And that's why it was so fun for me to start making a uh, business content you know like sharing my little journey like it's my little journey my life is a little story that can inspire somebody that can help somebody like me talking about what i've been through and how i continue to like push forward like past the barriers of what i've experienced i like to talk and share my story and talk to other people i like to talk about the important things in life and being happy with you and your core and your spirit and living a, a, a joyous life not judging people not judging others being kind like i like to talk about that so i said if this resonates with you please comment down below what you think about the stuff i'm saying because i don't be knowing where to start with these conversations but me just talking i feel like is a conversation starter me just expressing how i feel really but yeah i'm excited to put these extensions in y'all so hold on let me show you guys extensions now that i straightened over them let me turn this flat iron off so i don't burn nothing went over with the flat iron real quick just to straighten it out so it could go in my hair more smoothly so there's two three clip wefts there's the four clip and then there's five um two clip wefts i think it was technically four but because the extra one was sample but that one you can still clip into your head and then two single clips like two single weft clips like that like i said i haven't put clipping extensions in my hair in so long so bear with me i'm gonna probably time lapse this part And if my parts are not even, mind your business, okay? Mind your business. I have a, I have a little mirror somewhere. Where the booty? Yeah, that, that, that's not even, but it's fine. <laughs> oh wow, that is long. This is way longer than 24 inches. Honestly, don't care if they're even, so 
bear with me. Looks like it's blending pretty good. Maybe I'm gonna brush it out so I can kind of see where um, they need to go because I'm kind of getting a little better look of it. Just based on the way it looks, I think I'm gonna put them like the next set right here, like right in this area. Yeah, it feels like that's where it needs one right here. And then the little ones, I think I am gonna put them in. I just gotta look at it to see where they need to go. Piece I'm gonna put under here. So it can be like right under the ear cause I feel like that part looks a little, like it's not blended good. Yeah, like it looks good. I'm gonna um, try to flatter it a little bit more, but so far like this side is done. I feel like Pocahontas or something with these long locks because I have not had Long hair extensions like this in so long. Like, okay. Inches. Hey, baby. Ugh. Okay, so all the hair is in, you guys. Full head of inches. I'm gonna straighten it a little bit more to blend it together. Oh, dang, I need to put my flat iron back on. I still haven't straightened it yet. I'm waiting for my, heat, my flat iron to heat up, but these are so full, you guys, look. Like they're really, really full. I feel like I'm gonna have to try to re like reinstall them a few times, but they do blend pretty good. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> Why? Why do people do that whenever they film it? Why do people feel the need to be weird? Like when you're filming, what's up with that? I'm, t I'm telling them that too, cause it's true, it's weird. You're talking to yourself. You are talking to yourself, so it's weird. Yeah, I feel like straightening it is making it blend together. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> That's so funny. Look at that, you guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. But no, seriously, like, wow, these look cute. I know that's right. I need to do some little edges. But this looks cute like this without the edges, without doing anything extra. Seriously, like, I'm getting behind my toilet just so I can see how long it is. Like, this is long. Like, it's long. Wow. I know I keep talking about how long it is just because I ain't seen myself in a long hair in a long time. But I do feel like they look good, like. Cute. Cute. I really sometimes forget what I look like with straight hair. And I be like, remember like I was saying earlier, you guys, like honestly, like this is fun. It's fun to get all dolled up like this, but why don't you do it because you want to, not because you feel like you're pressured to, you know, like get cute for you, not for nobody else. Okay, now let, let's do some little edges. I'm gonna use this edge control. This is the edge fixer, the kiss edge fixer the Sweetie X Kiss collaboration edge control. Oh, my lips is dry. My lips is dry, y'all. Shelly's Daughter Beauty. All my glasses are discontinued right now though. <laughs> and I'm just doing wholesale. So if you guys are interested in wholesale, check me out, check me out. I have it in the description box down below. My website will be linked. If you guys are interested in starting your own lip gloss business, cosmetic birth, beauty burden. And I'll have these um, extensions linked too. So you guys can shop and get some extensions. 
I haven't had a weave in a long time, but this is giving me very natural sew-ins. Like it blends in my hair really, really nice. It looks pretty natural. Like honestly, if, if I didn't know that my hair was this long, I'd be like, this is my hair. This is mine. This is my hair. <laughs> but no, it looks good. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these clip-in hair extensions. I think I look cute so far, first impressions. I like them. They cute or whatever. They cute. They didn't tangle much. Like whenever I was combing through them, they straightened really easily. Um, they, they feel really soft. Like honestly, it feels pretty similar to, to my natural hair. Like it just, it feels soft. It doesn't feel like plasticky or anything like that. Yeah, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did like this video. Comment down below what you guys thought of the hair extensions. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you guys know every time I upload a new video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.